Hello, it's Simone. I am filming a quick first impressions video of this pen. This is a Navalure pen, as you can see from the packaging. I, on Fountain Pen Day, I purchased a Navalure a pen from Atlas Stationers. Do you open it this way or that way? Um, and the one that I was interested in was the Original Plus, and that's what I'm going to unbox right now. There is a user guide and warranty um, in this box in here. It's it's really nice and sturdy packaging. However, I noticed that there's nowhere I can see what is inside maybe it's no not underneath here I was thinking that this looks weird but there's doesn't look like there's any printing underneath it doesn't say what pen is in here it doesn't say what nib is in what nib size um, and that's why i actually received this so late is because uh, atlas stationers realized that their shipment that was supposed to be fine nibs was not in fact fine and so they had to wait until the next shipment came in. I ordered the blue. I will put the actual name, what it is called, <laughs> on the screen right here because I forgot. Um, and it is a vacuum filler fountain pen. The reason why I purchased this is because it has a number six nib. And the price for this pen is really affordable. I think I got mine for 48. You know, I should be more informed. I will put all the money information on the screen. I got a um, deal with Fountain Pen Day. So I'll, I'll tell you how much I paid and then I will tell you how much it usually cost. Um, but it's still really affordable for the size nib as well as the pen. It is a vacuum filler fountain pen. The nib, as I said, is a number six. There is some do i even know what the heck am i doing here this is better i can't see because my camera holder is right where i am supposed to see what i'm doing um and then on the side here this is where you can actually see wow i know why because i turned my camera around so you wouldn't see this the foot of my um camera stand so this is better right here you can see that it is a fine nib um what i noticed when and this is cool for filming fountain pens um what i noticed when i opened looked at this user guide doesn't seem to be the guide for this pen because it says before getting started gently twist the end cap counterclockwise until you feel the resistance Dip the nib into the ink all the way to where the entire nib section is submerged under the ink surface. Keeping the nib section submerged, gently twist the end cap clockwise until it's back to its original position. This is totally, absolutely not how um, you would fill a vacuum filler fountain pen. Um, for a vacuum filler fountain pen, what you do is you unscrew the back knob until it, you can move the piston, then you pull out the piston all the way. Or if you wanted a lesser fill, you would not pull it all the way. And then you submerge it into your ink and then you push down. And then at first nothing happens until you hear the click sound. That's when the vacuum is completely empty and then it will suck up um, or the, the pen is completely empty, there is a vacuum and it will then, in as an effect, um, pull in the ink into your pen and fill it that way. So, I'm before I'm going to fill my pen, I want to show you more details on what it looks like. Uh, it has a nice weight. I have some pens right here that I can compare it with. Um, the cap is pretty it actually for me i really like this it is very simple very clear that's why i like the design of this pen is really simple and clear 
Uh, that's why for me, the there is an opposition between the, the swirls that are in the translucent uh, body, translucent, clear demonstrator pen. Um, I just wanted to try this pen. I didn't purchase this for the design, the color choices that were there. I would have preferred this to be completely clear. So there is a silver stub on the finial right here. The clip is okay. Nice shape, not nothing spectacular, but also nothing unspectacular. It's just, it fits with the whole um, look of the pen. The cap band says Narwhal still, even though the brand has rebranded to Narvalur. And then on the back, this is a conical shape. There is, this is rounded. I like that you can see this little knob here how it yeah that's it there is some um, silver trim right here to seal the piston or the to have this mechanism right here and then this is what it looks like so i will pull out my pens i want to see what the weight comparison feeling is so i have i want to compare it to this to a regular twisby and then I have this one right here and this one. And that's going to be everything that I'm going to compare it to today. So this is the size of the original plus. This is the size of a Twisby Eco. This is the size of a Lamy Safari. And then we have a Pilot Metropolitan. All of those pens are cheaper than this one. Um, this one ranges is the most expensive. It's about $33. This one is similar. Some of them, if you get them on Amazon, they're about 20. And this one is also, I think it was 24. So that's the price range for these pens. This one is around 50. This is a comparable pen. This is also a vacuum filler. All of those pens, let me just go back, have a number four size nib, or that's at least what Twisby calls their nibs. Um, these are number four size nibs. Uh, if you've watched a previous video from me, I thought this was a number five nib. This is actually a number four. And then this one is a number six size nib. So you can see the size difference between those nibs. Well, move over here closer um so if you were to compare this to a same size nib then you would have to compare it to this fountain pen so you definitely get more for twenty dollars more you get a bigger um nib you get a big ink capacity wow this doesn't go on here did I compare the capped, uncapped? No. It's a regular size fountain pen, and I would personally say that the size difference between those pens is, well, the if you put it on the same, where the section is of this pen, then the Pilot Metropolitan is the shortest, all the others compare in size pretty well. Okay, let's look at the section for a second. It is um, tapered towards the front. There is a step to the nib and feet. It sits nicely in my hand. It is also nicely balanced. It lays there without me holding on to it. Um, I haven't tried if you can post it does it seems to be posting it doesn't come off you would screw on this however if you were going to screw unscrew it it doesn't make the ink come out so you could post this let me see how long it will yeah it's if i let it go it will fall tumble back over so it is 
back heavy when it's uh, posted and it's not really necessary because it it is a nice length for a pen. Let me just cap this one for and then let's compare these two. These are closest. These are pretty much almost the same same size. So this has ink, two milliliters of ink inside. I would I would think that this is a tiny bit heavier. I will have to research and see online if I can find empty weight measurements for both of those. I will put them on the screen so you can have a comparison. But if you like the Twisby Iris, back Iris, then you will also like the Navalor. I think it's a tiny bit lighter, but this might just be illusion. So let's uncap both of those. The uh, the Twisby does have some more. Um, it's a, the clip is not nicer, but the cap has the diamond shape that usually you will find on the Diamond Five Eighty. The it, it's faceted so that it, it reflects light differently. Um, the pen shape at least on the inside is also, it's like this, it's straight on the outside, but on the inside, it looks like it isn't. And then you have the diamond shaped screw back. And then the nib, the section, I almost, the section on the back 700R seems to be a tiny bit smaller narrower or almost the same i can't really tell i need a measuring tool which shipped yesterday today so it got, it's going to be here soon there is a if i compare these two we have one of those o-rings here to seal the cap very closely and there is no o-ring in this pen Nope. I'm curious to see what that might mean for the ink in this pen. Um, let's compare the um, the size on posted. The Navalor is a tiny bit shorter than the Vex 700R, uh, but the nib the nib is also a tiny bit smaller. Not very much. You don't also you don't necessarily know how much of this pen is in hidden in the feed and how much is showing here. Um, both pens have really pretty and very intricate designs on the nibs. That's for sure. And then this is a Yoro nib, whereas the Navalor is supposed to be, or well, I, I have read that this is a in-house design. I'm not going to say it's supposed to be because that's what it says and I'm not going to question if they do or do not. Um, it's their own pen. Um, they're supposed to be very, very soft or smooth. And so I'm going to give this a fill and see how that works for me right now. And then we'll see what happens. So this, I pulled it all the way out, then I'm submerging it until the nib is in there, and then I'm pushing it down. There, I think this is enough. I, I really, I have so many pens with lots of ink capacity in this new ink rotation uh, that I will not be able to write them all dry. So the important thing with a vacuum filler that needs to be remembered is that if you screw this knob on tightly, the, uh, the piston will seal the ink chamber from the section. 
and the feet. So that means um, the only ink that you are going to write with is what is left in the section and in the feed. And once this is empty, your pen will feel dry and run dry because you did not open the ink chamber. So I tr hope, try to just remember to open this up when I'm writing with a vacuum filler fountain pen. That's why I generally don't post the um, caps on vacuum fillers and I just generally am not a poster. So that's that. Now that I had submerged the section under in the ink, I would assume that writing with this pen is fairly easy. Let me just put the date. Today is November 19th. 2022. This is a. I, I'm going to put do this. I think this works. This is a na valor original plus in some kind of blue and a fine nib fine nib let me check oh no. it is a steel nib there's not a lot of um variation in the nib i don't feel like it's super glassy smooth uh, to be honest, it's it's a regular pen, it's a regular nib, it's not super special. I didn't expect it to be super special, but I just doesn't feel like it's all amazing. So this is the Robert Oster Endless Pens. Micah finds exclusive soft kitty warm kitty it has a nice wet flow the quick brown fox jump over the lazy dog. Yep, like it. I like it. And then oh, there's an N missing. What's wrong? Z. Yep. I I like this pen. Let me know if you in the comments below if you have a Navalor Original Plus, how you like it, what nib size do you have? I am not one hundred percent sure if I would say that this is how many of my fine nibs write. I would almost say this is more closer to a medium nib let's just these are two different pens two different nibs this one is a medium nib but the ink in here is also a different ink so i don't know how this influences the writing experience but just as a comparison uh, yeah <laughs> similar at best. I did I knew that maybe they were a little bit broader or they're that's why I went for a fine nib, but I'm I'm really excited to try this for the next month and see how I like it. Uh, I when I have my currently inked video in December, I will share my thoughts more with you. This was just a first impressions video and I hope um it helped you in making a decision if you wanted this pen 
or not. I'm really looking forward to using this more and I'm happy to have added it to my collection. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you soon. Bye.